The world needs a miraculous leader. Luckily, according to Emerald Tablet 12, mankind has been assigned an account manager, a conscious coach, and benevolent teacher all in one, Thoth. For all those seekers that have chosen to walk the character honing path to enlightenment and graduation from the holographic enslavement simulator of life, Thoth, Jesus' words, engender a sense of hope for the world we live in, inscribed by a miracle worker and a philosopher king hailing from Atlantis. Enki, Poseidon's honorable son, Hermes Thoth Nishida, has taken it upon himself to inscribe his wisdom and the future destiny of mankind on the notorious emerald tablets. The narrow gate exit path which Jesus spoke of in the New Testament, allegorically specifying how few escape the primitive worker ensl enslavement, is obtainable much as it was prescribed to the inhabitants of Atlantis carved into the twin or chalcum pillars near Poseidon's silver and gold clad temple. Character counts as in a fundamental attribute that arises when choosing to live a principled life of the archetypal hero versus succumbing to our myriad of vices and desires that lead to one's destruction. Recall the seven virtues and vices. They are worth looking up for those who have forgotten them. They were posted on a building on the UCSD campus, illuminating alternatively in large neon lights for all to see. This did not seem to deter those I spent almost 10 years with as a student and an employee. This is how the game is played. According to the lessons taught to us by an insider, one of the game designers, we manifest our own reality and are therefore responsible for the causality that leads to the subsequent effect. You reap what you sow. So decide now to start the character building path that begins with being honest first and foremost with yourself. Thoughts are real, tangible, electrically verifiable manifestations emanating from our primitive worker antennas. Our meat modems are easily snooped upon by those that possess the all-seeing eye technology used to run CIA-like operations on the chosen hero of a thousand faces to be memorialized and used as a teaching tool for the people so that the gods may know them and that they may understand themselves. This is why the simulations are run from remote information gathering sites, secret locations equipped with sensor fusion command centers, i.e. Mount Olympus Temple and perhaps Indian Springs, Nevada underground bases, house the godly game masters. Using this god's eye holographic interface, separated by dimensions, training vignettes can be crafted as virtual worlds within worlds. Placed here in our holographic quarantine simulator, where their primitive worker pawns hone their soul's immortal character qualities in anticipation of their next incarnation. Thoth eloquently describes this process in the Emerald Tablets. A large section of Thoth's prophecies about the destruction to come and the promising future planned for mankind is revealed in the Emerald Tablet 12, and a subset is repeated here. I wish to emphasize the profound guidance that one of our most benevolent teachers throughout recorded history graciously left us for us seekers. The message is very positive. Study these words and know your destiny as a light being. Know ye the future is never in fixation, but follow man's free will as it moves through the movements of time-space toward the goal where a new time begins. Know ye, O man, that all the future is an open book to him who can read. Know ye the future is not fixed or stable, but varies as cause brings forth an effect. Look in the cause thou shalt bring into being, and surely thou shalt see all is effect. So, O man, be sure the effects that ye bring forth are ever causes of more perfect effects. Know ye the future is never in fixation, but follows man's free will as it moves through the movements of time-space towards the goal where a new time begins. List ye, O man, while I speak of the future, speak of the effect that follows the cause. Know ye that man in his journey lightward is ever seeking escape from the night that surrounds him, like the shadows that surround the stars in the sky. And like the stars in the sky space, he too shall shine from the shadows of the night. Ever his destiny shall lead him onward, until he is one with the light. Aye, though his way lies midst the shadows, ever before him grows the great light. Far in the future I see a man as light-born, free from the darkness that fetters the soul, living in light without the bounds of the darkness to cover the light that is light of their soul. Know ye, O man, before ye attain this, that many the dark shadows shall fall on your light. 
striving to quench with the shadows of darkness the light of the soul that strives to be free. These are the challenges to one, one's archetypal journey through this life. Recognize them and overcome the fear they elicit, and you move on to the next one, turning lemons into lemonade until charged with sale of food item with, with no government permit. Great is the struggle between light and darkness, age old and yet ever new. Yet know in a time far in the future, light shall be all and darkness shall fall. List ye, O man, to my words of wisdom. Prepare and ye shall not bind your light. Man has risen and man has fallen, as ever new waves of consciousness flow from the great abyss below us toward the sun of their goal. Ye, my children, have risen from a state that was little above the beast, until now all men ye are greatest. Yet before thee were others greater than thee, yet tell I thee as before thee others have fallen, so also ye shall come to an end. And upon the land where ye dwell now, barbarians shall dwell, and in turn rise to light. Forgotten shall be the ancient wisdom, yet ever shall live through hidden from men. I in the land thou callest Chem, Egypt, races shall rise, and races shall fall. Forgotten shall be the children of men, yet thou shalt be moved to a space star, beyond this leaving behind the place where thou hast dwelt. I suggest that time of departure for those reading these words is now. The soul of man moves ever onward, bound not by any one star, ever moving to the great goal before him, where he is dissolved in the light of all. Know ye that she shall go ever onward, moved by the law of cause and effect, until the end both become one. This reminds me of a rising tide lifting all boats. Earth's received whole solar system energetic levels increase as the galactic center is approached. Humans on the Earth's surface, unless blocked by a planetary radiation shield, receive increased energy at the great year processional wobble cycle that lasts 25,900 years to repeat. I, man, after ye have gone, others shall move in the places that ye lived. Knowledge and wisdom shall all be forgotten, and only a memory of gods shall survive. As I to thee am a god by my knowledge, so ye too shall be gods of the future, because of your knowledge far above theirs. Yet know ye that all through the ages man shall have access to law when he will. Ages to come shall see revival of wisdom, to those who shall inherit thy place on this star. They shall in turn come into wisdom and learn to banish the darkness by light. Yet greatly must they strive through the ages to bring unto themselves the freedom of light. Then shall there come unto man the great warfare that shall make the earth tremble and shake in its course. Aye, then shall the dark brothers open the warfare between light and the night. When man again shall conquer the ocean and fly in the air on wings like birds, when he has learned to harness the lightning, then shall come the time of warfare. Great shall the battle be twixt the forces, great the warfare of darkness and light. Nation shall rise against nation, using the dark forces to shatter the earth. Weapons of force shall wipe out the earth man until half the races of men shall be gone. Then shall come forth the sons of the morning, and give their edict to the children of men, saying, O men, cease from thy striving against thy brother. Only thus can ye come into the light. Cease from thy un unbelief, my brother, and follow the path, and know ye are right. Then shall men cease from their striving, brother against brother, and father against son. Then shall the ancient home of my people rise from its place between, beneath the dark ocean waves. Then shall the age of light be unfolded, with all men seeking the light of the goal. Then shall the brothers of light rule the people, banished shall be the darkness of night. I, the children of men, shall progress onward and upward to the great goal. Children of light shall they become. Flame of the flame shall their souls ever be. Knowledge and wisdom shall be man's in the great age, for he shall approach the eternal flame, the source of all wisdom, the place of beginning, that is yet one with the end of all things. I, in a time that is yet unborn, all shall be one, and one shall be all. Man, a perfect flame of this cosmos, shall move forward to a place in the stars. I, 
shall move even from out of this space-time into another beyond the stars. Thank <laughs> you.